Alright, so we got a whole flock of chickens. Just running around the backyard and they're just scratching, getting lots of bugs. These are free range chickens. Um, got these chickens for eggs. Basically, we get one a day per chicken, per hen. Then we get like seven a day for all, all these hens. Just she went out and got some just a few minutes ago. But anyways, these are what you call barnyard chickens. Different breeds. Um, all the dark brown ones are Ericana and something else. And there's a little simple chicken coop. Not much to it. Just a little easy to build 4x4 four four chicken coop. And it's got a front glass window on the front just a, out of a mobile home. Flat roof and then a flat roof over the yard part to keep it a little bit dry. And I'm hiccuping. Haha. <laughs> Which is why the camera's bouncing. But anyways, those muscles are Ericana and whatever, maybe a game chicken mix. And the white ones are mixed um, uh, leghorn and some barnyard. Now those, that right there is a rooster. Those roosters right there are Ericana roosters mix. They're going to try to mate that leghorn and I think she's a white rock she yeah she's a white rock that's what she is so they're mating her but you can let her mate because if the hen sits then you'll have babies if, if they don't sit on the eggs obviously they're you just eat them so you don't have to have roosters. The good thing about roosters is roosters uh, will protect the hens. They will literally lay down their life for the hen. So that's one plus about having a rooster. They'll, they'll actually die for the hens. So some people don't like them. I happen to like roosters. Some people, if, you can't, if you're in an area where you can't have them crow in the mornings, if you don't like them to crow, then I advise don't get a rooster. They have some implements that go over their, around their neck that stops them from crowing. If they try to crow, it's kind of like a collar for a dog. And it'll stop them from getting the arc in the neck where they crow. So you can, you can eliminate the rooster from crowing. Uh, I've never used that kind of a collar before, but they do make them. But anyways, these are little happy hens and uh, I would call them free range chickens. Uh, we do feed them store-bought corn and sometimes some scratch feed, especially around the spring. And uh, laying pellets here and there. But mostly they eat what you're watching them eat, which is grass, bugs. And uh, they'll eat ticks if you had ticks in the yard, which we don't. But if you ever did, they eat ticks. They'll eat grubs, you know. They'll eat your garden. Just know that chickens will eat your garden, so you have to keep your garden closed off from them because it's a leafy vegetable and they don't know the difference between it and a weed. But anyways, a lot of folks, and I, I do sometimes too, just pull up a chair and just, you know, it's very relaxing just watching your chicken scratch and, and, and you know, gather food or eat in the free range. So it's just kind of nice watching them. And when they're young, they play, you know, they, these are a year old. These are all one year old chickens. And like I say, they pretty much lay an egg a day. And this is February the 14th. This is Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's, everybody. Um, but yeah, this is cold weather. And they're still laying eggs. That one there with the comb that's folded over its head, that's a, that is a leghorn. That's a female. She's very skinny um, as far as her build goes. You know, the build of her body is slim, but they are great egg layers. She lays an egg every single day. 
these Aracanas do too, so I get blue and red and brown and pink eggs from those half Aracanas. So, and those male roosters are half Aracana also. And like I say, they're really good protectors. And I've already seen one get hurt by my dog when I first got him. Pulled his tail feathers out where he let it get a hold of him instead of the hens. So, yeah, they, they definitely will protect your hens. But anyways, they're not expensive. Um, if you can't afford to feed them, let them free range. You got to watch out for coyotes and um, things like raccoons will eat them at night. So that's why we have a roof on our hen house. So you got to you got to really keep an eye on them. And there's my dog that he got a hold of him before, but I've taught him not to. So so far he's just watched him. He'll lay down with it. I got a shot collar on him, just in case. But he grabbed a hold of him. He didn't kill one, but he grabbed a hold of him, pulled some feathers out, and I jerked his collar and uh, stopped him. So, but yeah, well, there you go. See, he's watching him right now. So right now, I can't say that he wouldn't kill one because he might. But right now, he's just laying out here watching him. So once he learns that that he's actually here to protect them, and my other dog, which is an Australian Shepherd, she kind of keeps him even tempered as far as the animals so she's not chasing him and so he's kind of getting the idea that they're not to be chased they're part of the family so don't don't and a husky has a really high prey drive now if they were running away from him he probably couldn't help but to chase him but since they're calm and uh, not running away from him he's pretty calm so as of right now today I got like I say I got the shot collar on him and he's not tried to chase him, so he's being a good boy. But that's all they do right there. They just eat and peck and cluck, crow, wander around, fight. Oh, he's going to try to mate her. That's what he's doing. There he goes. He didn't got it. Oh, and then the other male's on him. It, well, that's funny. I don't know what they're doing. But anyways, that's chicken's life. That's how they are. Now they're going to fight the males. It's like, what in the world? But anyways, get your chicken, try one. Go on Craigslist, you can find them. Usually they're pretty cheap. You can get a, a net. That was another rooster back there. He don't look like a rooster, but I'm pretty sure he's a rooster. The brown winged one. It's running around back there. Um, Craigslist has them for sale. You, you can get a young chick. They're hard to take care of till they get this size. So my best advice, uh, if you just want one for a pet, you can get one a couple three years old, three or four year old hen. And she'll hardly lay eggs. She'll lay one every once in a while. But uh, for a pet, you know, they're great. They're great and they're cheap. You can get them maybe free or maybe just a few dollars. But if you get a year old hen like these, and it's just a year old, uh, you know, you're going to be paying $10 or more for, for a good egg laying hen like these are. So, but once you, once you start raising them, and, and even the old hen, let's say you had one young hen that was laying eggs, and if she didn't set on the eggs, you can put it under the older hen and she'll set on them eggs most likely, and she'll raise them babies like they're hers. So keep that in mind. You, can, you don't have to have an incubator. We used to do that, but it's kind of a headache, so we stopped. And we started letting our chickens raise, sit, and lay, and then set on the eggs until they hatch. And they get a clutch of babies. And after that, I mean, it's, it's easy, real easy once, once the hens. Now, I'll tell you another chicken that's really good to set and raise babies is bantams. And I don't have any right now, but they're quite a bit smaller. They're about half the size of these other chickens you're looking at. Uh, they'll lay eggs too. They're just tiny eggs. Um, they're excellent setters. They'll raise babies. Really good moms. And they're kind of, they're the closest to a wild chicken is, of any of them is uh, like the game bantams. You, you can raise those. And you can get them at tractor supply in the spring. In the spring you can get young ones. You have to get a light for them and keep them warm. Keep them water, keep them warm, keep their bedding changed. Um, but when, once they get up a, almost full grown, you know, they're nothing to take care of. They're so easy. Get you a piece of old fence like I did, put your roof on it, 
make you a little pen and some people have what they call a tractor uh, coop it's they lift it up and roll it around it's got wheels it's very small you can move it different places in the yard so you can do that too so I used to have one anyways all right so good luck get you some chickens be a farmer bye